Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody has had a chance to watch my video from earlier. I'm so sorry that it cut off, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up now with what got cut off. There was only one item, well, four of the same item, but one item that got cut off and I wanted to finish with that because I feel like it was kind of important to me even though it's just ribbon. Um, I picked up these four ribbons from the Dollar Tree and I really like the quality of these ribbons and I wanted to talk to you guys about them just because I feel they're important and I was upset they got cut off but it's nothing we can't fix so um, the thing about these ribbons is that they have the cute little scalloped edge and not only that guys look at the colors there's a really really cute pastel yellow it looks a little bit brighter because my camera light is flashing on it but all the rest of the colors look pretty normal there's the really pretty blue teal I don't know what you want to call it and then this really pretty like coral pink coral orange whatever they go really really well together um, I plan on using these for um, my planner bookmarks or ribbons I've been making what the heck are they called like planner clips little paper clips <clears throat> so I've been using lots of ribbon playing with it making those <coughs> excuse me and then I also already used the purple one to customize my little bunny from the Target dollar spot I just thought that gave him a little cute personalized touch to go with the rest of my decor going on and then I have a second one of these little bunnies and um, I'm going to use um, this color on the second bunny and put one of each of them on my end tables just I don't know I just think they look cute next to those Target dollar spot signs but I wanted to give them a little bit more color because they kind of look plain without it so that's what I plan on doing with those and then the, I had a paper clip up here that I already made, but apparently Kate and our accident felt they needed to walk off with it. But basically, it's just um, a ribbon like this. I used the purple one, and I had a, another white ribbon that had all the different colored Easter eggs, and then I put it with that purple one, and it looked really cute. So that's what I've been making with those. So they kind of just stick out of the top of your planner here to mark your page or your week that you're on. And currently, I have my Easter... <laughs> crazy layout so I I've been using that in there now it is long gone we will never find it probably anyways I had left off some items from the Dollar Tree that I had hauled previously I found a whole nother bag that I had meant to show you guys earlier so I'm gonna continue on with Dollar Tree stuff and then <laughs> after I was angry with my video earlier cutting me off I went out and about on my hunt today and I found some more stuff so I'm just gonna include all my Dollar Tree stuff into this one video and then hopefully the next video I won't be too tired and I will film my um, Target Dollar Spot uh, Target Dollar Spot stuff for you and they have some really really cute stuff I was lucky to find some of the new popsicle summertime stuff and then all my flamingo stuff two different locations but I'm gonna just put it all together because it's all really cute but anyways let's continue on with the Dollar Tree stuff now this is from last week's haul it was all part of that really cute new stationery they've been putting out I love all these colors I'm sucker for neon and all of these things so this is a sticky pad with the little sticky page flags also and then here are the cute little pens now these pens guys are those same pens that um, we were all using to decorate with the washi tape so you can actually take these apart and put whatever kind of washi tape you want on the inside or you can put it on a piece of paper and then wrap it around the pen in there I think they're I can probably find the video for you on how to do it and link it down below or show you the ones that I've made but they are the exact same ones the only difference is these come in a pack of three and the older ones came in a pack of four but same exact pen um, they also have these matching little um, pencil bags and they do have the little binder holes there so you can put them inside your binder. I don't have a binder but I just plan on putting my planner markers and pins in there when I'm on the go or I need to take my planner somewhere. <laughs> like I'm really busy. Anyways, I also hauled these really cute heart mechanical pencils. I have not been able to find the sticky note pad or the little to-do list that goes with these. I'm searching high and low for it and I have not found it anywhere. I plan on finding it. I want the matching notepad to this. It's like a long to-do list or it's just plain, um, it just matches and it has little lines for you to 
put your daily list or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'm a cop. I also grabbed one of these. I don't need any more pens, but they're so cute. I just had to get the purple one. I like it for springtime and Easter. I also, guys, hauled these colored pencil or mechanical pencils. They're mechanical pencils, but the ink is the color of each pencil. Have any of you guys used these yet? I went to use, I believe, the blue one the other day just to try it out, and I felt like every time I tried to write that the lead just broke. I don't know if I was like kung fu gripping it and just breaking off the lead like because I'm a brute or something, but if you have the same experience, let me know how you like these, if they work, or if I just got a bad batch, maybe I dropped mine and the lead's all cracked. I don't know. I just didn't think they worked too well. Oh my gosh. I found my clip. <laughs> I threw it in my bucket. Anyways, here is that clip that I was talking about earlier. So that pretty scalloped ribbon looks really cute with these little paper clips and the the weight of them is really nice I like it a lot so if you see that ribbon I definitely recommend picking it up for future projects or just to have on hand love the colors and then what else did I get oh let's get into the new stuff okay so when I went out today with my sister-in-law we went to like three Dollar Tree today we went to City Trends, we went to Dollar Tree, and we went to one Target, but we had no luck at Target at all, the one we went to today. Okay, so first of all, new stickers, or I haven't seen these before. I picked up this pack with super cute little mermaids. And a little crab, look at him, he's so cute. And then it's got the set of holographic ones, trying to get this the best way so that it doesn't blind you guys. And then this one, how cute is this? This is perfect for the Happy Planner. I love the fact that it has the different shapes, like squares, circles. You can put these in between your um, numbered uh, your numbers for the days. And then the squares fit perfectly, like in between the boxes for the days. I just thought these were a really cute pack of stickers. I probably should have got two, but I'm still not learning. I always just grab one. And then in the same, there was like a circus or animal one, and then this one, I think there's the only three different ones I saw, but I did get the cute ponies. Look how cute those are, guys. With a little shooting. I have a tattoo like that on my foot. I love it. And then on this page here, whoa, there we go. There is the cute little ponies, more of those shooting stars, little hearts with polka dots, and the clouds, super cute. And then more of the mixed sizes there. And I just like the variety that these have and all the colors. Perfect for mixing with your washi. So I definitely picked up those two packs of stickers. Let's toss those over there. Earlier today you guys saw me haul that little headband and washcloth set. I went ahead and just grabbed the headband in this pattern so I could show you guys what the pink one looked like. So it's really cute too. Um, I don't know if I have the other one nearby to show you guys that maybe didn't catch that video earlier, but here it is. So here is the pretty blue pattern. I like that it's got the little diamond shapes on it, and it is really, really soft, guys. It's perfect for your hair. I'm not smashing it or anything. And then this one has more of the chevron with the coral and the hot pink. Super cute colors for summer and spring. And then... There is a matching pack of cloths. I didn't get a second set of cloths because I felt like I'd probably bust this thing in like a week or two. So it was good to have a second one on hand. So I did pick those up. Um, oh yeah, and these little head, these definitely would not fit on my head very well. They're very tiny. But I got these to put on my planner to hold the pages together. So I'll probably end up gluing something on it just to make it more cute. But I had never seen these before and I like that they... Um, have the little cutouts in them and I thought the colors were really cute. There's two variations and I picked this one because I like the, I think these colors would work better for me going into the summer months. So I picked up those. Oh yeah, more stickers. These, I love these. This is my second set of these. I like to put these in my planner too in between the the number, like I explain to you guys what I'm talking about without showing you, so I'm just going to show you. In between here on the numbers, like so, 
there's like this little bit of space in between where the days are numbered. So I like to put a little sticker in between there, otherwise it's just so boring looking. And so stickers like this are perfect for that. So I thought, how cute would that be, whatever theme you're going with, to be able to take the line all the way straight down and use a color that matches. Or you could even do a rainbow and go across. So for a dollar, I thought those were really cute. Just pep up your planner or whatever you want to use them for. More stationery. Oh, I picked up another one of these. I found one of these, so I went ahead and grabbed one. My knife is getting a little bent up, so I picked up a pack of these, and I gave one to my sister-in-law because she needed another one, too. And I've never seen the pink ones before, so i always just seen the black. And then I finally found this. I'm going to do a review on this. I don't know if it's going to work, and I don't know what the hell I'm even going to staple, but it is an actual staple gun for a dollar so I thought what the heck for a dollar and it even came with some staples in there so I'm gonna test this out and let you guys know if it works hopefully I don't staple myself to anything but what the heck it should work right it's just a staple gun hmm? who knows and then these guys this is the first time I've seen these now I wish I would have brought that other pack of paper clips in here but the colors are more like pastel -y. And this matches all that new stationery and office supply stuff they've been putting out. So I found these really cool neon, um, like electric colored binder clips. I can also make these something for my planner. And then I found these really cool colored um, paper clips. It seems like I got a pack with mostly orange. Of course, that would be my luck, my least favorite color in the whole freaking world. I'll probably go exchange these just for that reason alone. But anyways, look at how many orange ones are in there. Why would they do that to me? <sighs> anyways, pack of these clips for a dollar, huh? What the heck? And that is it, I guess, for my Dollar Tree stuff. I guess I could show you guys the cute little mixing bowl. I picked up this color for baking, or I might even use it for my stuff I'm currently using for my planner supplies. But anyways, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I do have a fairly large Target dollar spot, a cumulative haul, and then a couple things from City Trends. So um, stay tuned, and that video will be up shortly. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.